Okay, so you can see that I've kind of gotten halfway here. I've carved out this side. I'm going to continue now. Gently, you don't push too hard, you just gently pull it back and forth. The saw cuts very efficiently and generally pretty straight. So you can just pop that off. So I'll clean up the inside here, the right around the root with my carving knife. You want a longer, sharp blade with uh, an edge that you can push against with your thumb so you don't you don't want to edge on this side you definitely want to be able to push on that and then have a sharp edge there so that you can really control and do kind of small scale careful shaves to get the exact shape you want You have to keep in mind also that most of the material, all of this material here is going to be gone as soon as I do the profile. So you can see there that we're now more or less to shape. I'll clean it up after I get uh, the rest of it done. The other approach that I've been using is just to just carve a chunk of this off directly. Of course, a bandsaw would make this much, much faster. Doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of in the ballpark because you're going to carve most of this material away once you start carving the prop blades. This is mostly just to guide the, the carving that you'll do later on when you get into the prop blades themselves.
Sometimes it can be a bit easier to sand it. Coarse sandpaper. That gives you, so there you go, that's mostly there. I just gotta do this edge here now. See how I'm using my thumb to push the blade along? It helps me control things much better than if I was just pushing with my wrist. So with my thumb I can take off little individual shavings and get right up against the line. And that technique comes in very handy down the road when actually carving the blades. There you go. Okay. So now you can see that the basic blade shape is all fleshed out. And so the next step is to take off the... See now you can see that the perforations still show up here, right? So you can see the perforation all the way around for the blade shape. So this is what makes this prop really easy to deal with. Everything I've done so... So if you had a bandsaw, you would have gotten through the steps I've just taken sort of half an hour to work through in like, you know, 30 seconds. Because it's so much easier with the bandsaw. Um, but it's not that hard to do it this way either. Making sure it's all at the same level. There we go. Probably gonna take a little bit more off. Okay, so now I'm going to cut for the perforations and that is actually, you can see immediately how this just breaks along there, it's very easy. Perforations basically guide where you're cutting, they tell you what's not prop and what's prop. You as the sculptor can release the prop from her prison. There we go. See? So you can see here the little stripes are the place where the balsa was not cut by the laser, and these bands are the places where the balsa was cut. And so. Very quickly get to the point where you've basically got the
And because this prop has got this plywood core, you can actually bear down pretty hard on it. It's, it's pretty strong. Some places it won't come off because the glue will have seeped in and sort of sealed the perforation up a bit. But you can see how very quickly that's come loose. You're basically going almost all the you're going all the way down to the plywood core here. So when you hit plywood, you're done. I usually try to stop right as I get there. There you go. Plywood is showing up there. Beauty of the perforation just pops right off. And it guides you. You can easily, because the wood is a little bit darker where the laser has burned it, you know when you're getting down to the, uh, the surface that you're interested in exposing. So this is a step that, you know, in the, sort of the regular prop you would do with a bandsaw as well if you have one and it's very easy with the bandsaw. But this way, because it's done with a laser, it's going to be perfectly symmetrical, which is nice. little piece Perforations expose all the way around the prop. So now you've got the blank. And now the last step is just the carpet, which will be the next video.